I was really fortunate to be able to, to, to grow up surrounded by original Picasso and Matisse and, and Gauguin and beautiful pieces of art and, and to be in the same room with them and not be at a museum but to be at my great grandmother's house. The interesting thing is I never did any art until I got to college. I applied for this program at Syracuse University that was called Film Art. I didn't know that this was what I was getting into, but I show up the first, uh, first day and I'm thrown into drawing classes. I'd never really done that before. To have that blank slate and that ability to, to, uh, to have fresh eyes at, at a, a real paramount time in one's life at 18 was a gift. And it was a struggle at first because I had to learn everything, shading and, and all the things that make art, art, including uh, making things political and, and important and the power of that. And I learned all this at school and when I moved to Los Angeles to do film production, I got to work for some great artists like Robert Altman, who, who helped to further instill in me the importance of frame and composition. So I learned how important implementing one's art foundation into their filmmaking is and before I knew it when I was in Los Angeles my art and my filmmaking became one. For Denver 2016 I piloted an airplane above my hometown of Denver Colorado and I was searching for the best vantage point and when I found it I took a picture and I took that picture home and I started to draw colors and shapes and lines and bring even more life to this tapestry, eventually making it represent what I saw from the plane. And that's a process that I use for all my pieces and the things that makes them so 